afternoon. It's Thursday. It's 310 and it's time for you to be adrenalized. That's right, folks. It's time to get that blood flowing and get re-energized. Why? Because you're here. You're alive and it's time to be motivated to live your best life. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Tom Marino Show. I am your host, Mindset and Success Strategy Coach Tom Marino. Thank you so much for tuning in today on I tell you, I think Thursdays are just beautiful days in general. It's a beautiful day out there today. It was beautiful last week. The sky is blue. The sun is out. It is just vibrant. And we are just glowing in that aura of the sun. And I just hope that you are having a great day out there. And if you're not, it's time for that to change. So let's make it a great day going forward. All right, everyone, I want to hear from you. I want to hear from you. Go visit me at tommarino.com. That's tommarino.com. You can go to my website, check out what I'm doing, check out what's going on, read some of my articles, read into some of the things that I'm doing, see if there's something there that resonates with you and can help you out. And if you're a solopreneur, an entrepreneur, a small business owner, and you're going through a period of transition and you're struggling through that, then just text me 516-588-0750. That's 516-588-0750. And I want to thank our sponsors. Uh, you know, the Tom Marino Show has two sponsors. The first is New House Restoration, where they turn your damaged old house into a new house. Visit them at newhouserestoration.com. That's newhouserestoration.com. If you've had a fire, you have fl- a flood, you've had your sewer back up, or you have some asbestos that needs to go away, Contact New House Restoration. Give them a call at 631-604-8590. That's 631-604-8590. And hey, they're hiring. Go check out their Facebook ad. Check them out on Instagram at New House Restoration. And I want to thank Ticket Time. Ticket Time, if you need tickets for concerts, sporting events, comedy shows, Broadway, and you need them anywhere in the United States, contact Ticket Time. Ticket Time's office number is 516-588-TIXX. That's 516-588-TIXX or 8499. At Ticket Time, you don't need those nose you don't get those nosebleed seats and extra fees. You get premium seats at affordable prices. So reach out to them today at TicketTimeUSA.com and tell them that Tom Marino sent you. All right. Well, we've got a fun show ahead of you today. Are you ready to get, as, as Hans and Franz would say on Saturday Night Live, are you ready to get pumped up? Are you ready to get optimized? Do you want your fitness to be back in shape? Are you struggling with some aches and pains? Well, I've got the best guest here to talk about all that stuff and how to get back on track. I want to introduce you all to Sherry Christie. Sherry is the founder of Paragon Physical Therapy and Elite Strength and Performance. She's been practicing as a physical therapist for over 25 years after graduating from Student Downstate in Brooklyn. Uh, Paragon was born out of her desire to provide quality, individualized care to people in need, and she has an extensive experience as a physical therapist, athletic trainer, and certified strength and conditioning specialist. So Sherry, welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. I'm so excited for you to be here on, again, a gorgeous day. It is. And it's a gorgeous day in here. You're here. So, Sherry, tell people about your business. Tell people about Paragon. Tell them about Elite, you know, and tell them what you do. So, um, always, always had a passion for health, wellness, fitness, um, enjoy taking care of injuries. I was an athlete when I was younger, so exposed to athletic training in college, which mm-hmm. kind of sparked my interest there. Um, And that's what I pursued originally. Um, Came out of graduate school as a trainer, started working in an orthopedic clinic, and really saw a lot of crossover between what athletic trainers and physical therapists can do. Yep. Um, Athletic trainers are a little bit more limited, though, than physical therapists. Well, they're not licensed, right? Are you licensed as a... We are licensed, but we uh, work under a different scope of practice, if you will. So we're more of those sideline people on the field where we're um, first responders, in a sense, where we're um, addressing injuries on the field, making decisions whether people are capable of going back into play. Or right. if they need to come off the field and be further addressed by a doctor. You know, that's so much fun. I mean, I, you know, I'm a physician assistant by training. And yes. by the way, I went to Downstate as well. Awesome. You graduated in 93. I graduated in 2001. So we're a little little behind each other there. But uh, Downstate had a great PT program. Physical it therapy really did. is insane. Yeah. But athletic training, I've always, you know, I was like, how do you get into that? How do you get on the field? And like you see all of these, you know, you have to do a lot of strength and conditioning work as a trainer, correct? You're introduced to it. Okay. It's part of their rehab. Okay. Um, 
But the athletic trainer, and that model is kind of changing, but when I started, you were there to be on the sidelines for the athletes, to help the athletes out if they needed some rehab that could be done in the office, right. taping, okay. if you've ever had your ankles taped, wrist taped, right. um, or if you've seen athletes on TV, that's all part of the trainer. Okay. Um, they do have some uh, play in the conditioning of the athletes, Okay. but a lot of it is uh, injury and prophylactic prevention of injury and stuff like that. Right. So you're like the triage team when it, yes. somebody comes off the field. That that's what the athletic trainer's role is to do is to triage the situation, like you said. Right. You're, and you got to make quick decisions. Like, is this person capable of getting back on the field? Are they really? Do they need to sit out a play? Do they need to be followed up with a doctor? Have X-rays? That kind of thing. So it's exciting in that sense that yeah. you know. Because every athlete wants to play, and sometimes oh, yeah. you have to pull them out. You're not their best friend then. Exactly. You you become the quick enemy, right? You're the <laughs> yeah. enemy of, of, of the play. But, um, you know, so what sports specifically have you, like, What do you? what's your favorite sport that, or the ones that you worked as an athletic trainer for? Oh, I've worked with a lot. Um, I do enjoy football. Okay. I, and honestly, working as an athletic trainer for football is where I kind of grew an appreciation for that. Okay. Um, I did that in Illinois State, and wow. I went out there. I didn't like football. Okay. But um, you're in football, and when you're in the Midwest, it's football. It's football, yeah. And even even my my housemates, all they're like, Sherry, don't talk to us, you know. Wow. Chicago's playing. Right. <laughs> and it's I'm time like, for football. You guys watch football? And they're like, you're yeah. not allowed to talk to them. So it's like my appreciation for football grew out of that. Um, I really enjoy um, wrestling. Okay. Um, these kids have to be super, super flexible and get all kinds of yep. crazy positions. And you're trying to figure out how to tape them. So they're supportive and not getting in the way with their movement. Right. And still flexible enough to do what they need to do. Right. Yeah. That's, so. that's awesome. So, all right. So you started power. So how did you decide to become a physical therapist? I was working as an athletic trainer in a, an orthopedic clinic okay. as well as participating, um, or working at, at a local high school. I was okay. back at my alma mater, Bayshore, working as their um, athletic trainer awesome. in the early 90s. And I just felt like I wanted to do more. Yeah. You know, um, and the physical therapists were doing more. And I'm like, I can do this. So I just mm -hmm. applied and went back to school and um, put my nose to the grindstone, did really well. And honestly, I think having the combination of athletic training and physical therapy right. is, is unique in the sense that, you know, athletic trainers are really taught how to take a history right. to figure out what what's injured here right. and then make a plan from there. Um, physical therapist really lies more in old school physical therapy. Like um, it was kind of born out of wartime, the wartime era. Yep. And you're bringing in this whole sports concept. And I just felt like it helped me to evaluate injuries better. That's awesome. So, now you're located where? 250 Executive Drive um, in Edgewood, New York, which is right, right. Heartland Business Center, right next to Heartland Golf and the Deer Park train station. Fantastic. All right, we're going to talk more with Sherry after this commercial break. But hey, if you have a question and you want to give us a call after the break, call us at 631-451-1039. We'll talk to you right after this. Are you tired of nosebleed seats and extra fees? Do you want premium seats at affordable prices? Hey, this is Tom Marino from The Tom Marino Show, and I want to tell you about the best way to get premium tickets at affordable prices for your next concert, sporting event, comedy show, Broadway show. And if you need them anywhere in the United States, just contact Ticket Time. That's TicketTimeUSA.com, TicketTimeUSA.com, and tell them that Tom Marino sent you. Hey, this is Tom Marino of the Tom Marino Show here. Imagine you wake up and you've had a major sewer back up in your home. Well, let me tell you about a company that I've worked with personally, New House Restoration, where they take your damaged old house and make it a new house. For any water, fire, mold, or asbestos damage, please call them at 631-604-8590. That's 631-604-8590. New House Restoration. And welcome back to the Tom Marino Show. I'm your host, Mindset and Success Strategy Coach Tom Marino. Thank you so much for tuning back in today on September the 8th. And uh, it's a beautiful day outside and the world has changed a little bit today. Uh, on the way over here, I heard about the death of Queen Elizabeth. And, um, 
You know, what a what an incredible reign she had over almost the last 70 years. And it's going to be interesting to see that transition and how the country handles that transition over the next several months. But, uh, you know, just wanted to recognize the, the queen for all of her service. She really was loyal to her people, served her people her entire life time. And I just think it's an amazing thing that when you're born into something like that, what you have to do and the commitment and that she had for her country was just profound and for the monarchy. So uh, now it's long live King Charles III, I understand. All right. Well, you know, we're always talking about change. We're always talking about transition. And right before the commercial break, uh, we were talking with my guest, Sherry Christie, who is the owner of Paragon Physical Therapy and Elite Strength in Performance. Um, and Sherry was talking about how she transitioned from being an athletic trainer to a physical therapist and how she went back to school because she wanted to do more. So, you know, we before the break, Sherry, we were talking about that journey to becoming a physical therapist, how you started out. What's the thing that you love about doing as a physical therapist? Um, I, I really get great satisfaction out of um, my patient's journeys. You know, oftentimes they come in and they might be uh, post-surgical or injured and they're like, mm -hmm. oh, I'm never going to be able to do this again. And I really listen to what their goals are and I try to make that happen. Yeah. Um, and, uh, it's very rewarding to see people go from being in a painful state with limited mobility and get back to doing the things they love. Yeah. I, that's, you know, that's the thing. And physical therapy, you know, I'm going to turn to the business side of this because I always remember as a physician assistant, when I would refer somebody to physical therapy, the challenges that insurance companies put up for paying physical therapy and, and how limited we are by that. I see you're getting excited now because this is like the bane of your existence. But tell me a little bit about how do you help somebody who really needs a long recovery and, and needs a lot of help, but yet because of insurance issues and whatnot, they're not able to go beyond the 12 or 15 or 20 sessions that you may get from that injury. So how do you condition people to manage it on their own? Well, um, we do own elite strength and performance. And so what we try to do is create like a wellness or bridge type of program, mm -hmm. um, for people to go from the rehab and into finishing off that rehab. Okay. And we're soon to launch this new program called table to turf, where we're going to take you from post-injury, post-surgery rehab, to whole body functional training, to back on the field playing at 100%. Right, so so basically what you're telling me is that the limitations of physical therapy has led to the development of this strength and performance business, yes. right? And Elite is that opportunity for people to be able to continue their rehab. And, and th those are, you have programs that you put people into. Tell us a little bit about what you offer at Elite. Uh, Elite offers small group and private training. Okay. Um, and we have a couple of different programs based on, you know, what you're looking for. How many days a week do you want to work out? What are your goals? Right. And we try to steer you into different programs for that. So let's say I, I recently had a hip surgery, right? And uh, I want to get back to playing football. So you would start off at Paragon with the rehab portion. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, and what I love about our table to turf program is like, I'm your physical therapist, but yeah. I'm also the person designing your program to get you back on the field. And I love that. I love that table to so turf idea. So there's no idea. disconnect. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's like you develop a rapport with your patient and that does not stop as right. you get them back onto the field. Mm -hmm. So they get to know, like, and trust you. And what's unique about that is like, I love to push my athletes. Yeah. So it's like, I want to see what they're capable of doing. And sometimes they don't believe in themselves. Mm -hmm. But because of that no like and trust, they're like, oh, if she thinks I can do this, I'm going to give this a try. And then they're like, I can do this. Yeah. And then the wheels just start turning and they're like, all right, I'm on the road to recovery. Yeah. You're coaching them through that transition. You're not doing From anything different than I do every day. Right. It's coaching people through the transitions and helping and and helping them to believe in themselves. I love what you said there. And you're yeah. right. And you like to push your athletes because you see their potential, right? Yes. I mean, it's all about their potential. And you don't want that disconnect. Like, I don't want to see them for four to six weeks of, you know, rehab. And then they go off to Planet Fitness and they're like, 
what do I do here? Mm-hmm. You know, right. it's like, I'm like, hey, this is your sport. These are the actions and activities, the movements you're going to need, the forces going through your body. So these are the exercises you're going right. to do. Right. And that's where your expertise as a physical therapist is so critical because you're looking at it from a mechanical standpoint and what's the right workout for this person to do in this rehab period, correct? Correct. That's that's awesome. So I love table to turf, right? Yeah, I, I love neat? I love that. I think that is awesome. So from is it from the operating table, the PT table? What table is it from that you get in the back on the field? Well, originally it's my table. So my table to turf being your playing field, yep. but it could be from the doctor's table as well. <laughs> Absolutely, because that's where the journey starts, right? Totally. They do the surgery, they're helping with the injury, and then they come to you for the rehab period, and, and then you're getting them back on the field. You know, one of the greatest satisfactions is when you see somebody succeed, right? How does success of your patient fuel you as you continue to do what you do? Um, it fuels me, for sure. Okay. It's like there, I don't, I don't even, it's like a, it's like a euphoric thing. Yeah. Like, you know, it's like winning. Yeah. You know, you won for that patient I, and, and it, to see them back on the field, it just, it's why I do what I do. Yeah. And when you see them back on the field and you see them succeed and you know that that is the fulfillment that I see in my practice is right. when people succeed. That's yeah. fulfilling what I do. I mean, is that your fulfillment? I mean, you love what you do. I could see it. Like yeah. you just... You just emanate totally everything that you do to get people healthy, get them back in shape. And you're starting a new program for nutrition, correct? We are. We're kicking off a new program. Um, it's called Nutrition OS, like operating system. Okay. Like cool. Nutrition is OS. your operating system I for your it. body, right? <laughs> um, it's an eight week program. Right. Um, I had previously, I am certified through Precision Nutrition. Okay. That's a year long program, and a lot of people just don't want to invest, believe it or not, in their health for that length of time. Okay. Um, so Nutrition OS gives us the opportunity to offer them like bite-sized nutrition. Right. It's um, still changing habits, um, but it's kept to an eight-week period right. where people are like, okay, I'm going to you know, do this for eight weeks. And yep. then the goal is just to continue with them after that. That's fantastic. Yeah. So when does that program start? That's starting really soon, We right? are kicking that program off next week. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. So how can people reach you? What's the best way to reach you if they're interested in a nutrition program and working with Elite and, and even in your physical therapy? What's the best way? Well, I think the easiest way to reach us is just give us a call at 631-242-9200. That's for Paragon. And what's that number again? 631-242-9200. Okay. Uh, you can call or text 631-747-8893, which is Elite Strength and Performance. Okay. And what's nice about that is you can text. And you're on Instagram, right? At Elite Strength LI, right? We are on Instagram as Elite Strength LI. Okay. Um, and we have a website for each one of those businesses, which they have crossover and overlap. Okay. So... so Directs people either way. So go to EliteStrengthLI.com mm -hmm. and then you'll be connected with Sherry totally. in some way to all her all her <laughs> entrepreneurial ventures here. Absolutely. All right. That's awesome. And and Sherry, we're going to come back after the next commercial break. But, you know, you have just you, you bring such energy to this and I can see that you love what you do and you must inspire your athletes to to really perform at their top. I and mean, I want to get into that, like the type of athletes that you're working with right now, what, we, what we're going to do. Like we even talked about a few things with my son and some ideas, and mm -hmm. I want to just put some stuff out there. So when we come back from the next commercial break, we'll get into that. So if you want, give us a call, 631-451-1039. And during this next break, if you haven't already, go to Instagram and follow me at Tom Marino Coaching. That's Tom Marino Coaching. And also you can follow Sherry at Elite Strength. L-I. That's Elite Strength L-I. And uh, that's her website too. Just add a dot com after there. But go to Instagram. Follow us. Look at everything we're doing. Check out her Nutrition OS program. And we'll talk to you right after this break. Hi. 
Hi, this is Tom Marino, success strategy coach and host of The Tom Marino Show. I want to invite you to join me and make the changes that you desire in your life. If you're a small business owner, entrepreneur, or executive that is struggling with burnout, overwhelm, or stress, then contact me at TomMarino.com. That's TomMarino.com. I will navigate you to achieve the success you desire. I will introduce you to six simple steps that will change your professional and personal life, and I will help you to choose your adrenalized life. An adrenalized life is an action mindset that empowers you to act decisively so that you can be more productive and get more done. If you are stuck, suffer from analysis paralysis, and can't get stuff done, do you want that to change? If the answer is yes, then contact me, Tom Marino, success strategy coach at TomMarino.com. That's TomMarino.com. And remember, you can choose your adrenalized life. And welcome back to the Tom Marino Show. I'm your host, Mindset and Success Strategy Coach, Tom Marino. Thank you for tuning back in on today, September the 8th. It is uh, 3.39 right now in the afternoon. And listen, we are talking with Sherry Christie from uh, Elite Strength and Performance and Paragon Physical Therapy. And we're talking all about strength and conditioning. We're talking about table to turf, where she gets people back from the physical therapy table back onto that field and playing on the field and playing the sports that they want to play. And she helps them to recondition to get back into shape on that. And I want to thank Sherry for uh, her and Elite Strength and Performance for sponsoring this part of today's show. Um, you can reach out to her at uh, Sherry is on Instagram at Elite Strength LI. Also, you can call or text 631-747-8893. That's 631-747-8893. And visit their website at EliteStrengthLI.com. That's EliteStrengthLI.com. So, Sherry, thanks again for sponsoring. I really appreciate it. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank it's, you for having me. I, I'm just having so much fun talking sports and physical therapy. And, you know, like I said, we went to Downstate. I was in the PA program. I had a lot of friends in the physical therapy program. Yeah. We took anatomy together in physical, yes. you know, the two programs when we used to work on human cadavers. I don't even know if they do that anymore, but that was 20-something years ago that we did that. But, uh, you know, before the break, we started to get into, you know, how do you get athletes back onto field? How do you, how do you get them from table to turf? And, you know, do you do what do you do for like a football player versus a baseball player? You know, my son's a baseball player. Like if God forbid he got injured, is there a different way that you rehab based on the sport or how do you do that? Well, we're going to rehab based on the injury. Okay. And once their injury is, you know, moderately healed and we're thinking about getting them on the field, we're looking to make them better athletes. Okay. So yeah, there'll be some specialization as far as what your son's doing for baseball. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, he bats a certain way, he throws a certain way versus a football player who might be a lineman and has to push tackle that right. kind of thing. So there'll be some of that, but a lot of strength and conditioning is just about strengthening and conditioning the whole body. So right. we want to make sure regardless of what sport you play, mm -hmm. you have full mobility at your joints, you have maximum flexibility and you can be as strong as you can. Right. So Yeah, I mean that's such a big concern. So, you know, all all of you uh athlete parents out there, you know, especially my baseball parents out there, you know, one of the things that I'm trying to figure out with my son, you know, he just, he turned 13 last January. So he's, and he's, he's in full puberty, which is, which is very important for muscle development. Mm -hmm. You know, like what is, what is the right age for kids to start to lift weights, to start to work out and develop their muscles? What is, what is the formula there? I don't know that there's any special formula and you know, if you're keeping weights light and allowing children to explore, mm -hmm. um, they can certainly start lifting weights, not in the traditional sense of it, but right. just like really kind of letting them explore and play. Right. Um, a lot of play should be included for children that are like under the age of 13 because they're still developing right. like motor control, you know, neuromuscular development. That's, they're still going through all of that. And, you know, you can't ask a seven year old to run a pattern and look over their shoulder. They just don't have the capability of it. So you have to keep in mind what the age of the athlete is, where they're at. Um, for young kids, strength training isn't really necessary yet. Right. right. 
Right. You know, it's more about um, keeping them from getting hurt, uh, preventing overuse injuries. Um, you're starting to hear a lot more about kids who have Tommy John surgery. Yeah. And they're your son's age. Right, because it's Little League elbow and overuse, underuse. It's all of those things that come into play when, when you're working, especially, and you worry about that stuff. And, and we ask a lot of kids, and, I, it, you know, I, I've, I've followed baseball for a long time, and I've always said that, you know, like sometimes you think of the back in the day, like the Nolan Ryans and, you know, the Sandy Koufaxes, they would throw hundreds of balls a game. They mm-hmm. wouldn't just throw 100 pitches a game. And have we actually weakened people by throwing? less right what's the argument there <coughs> but I don't want to get into to that so much what I want to make sure that we emphasize because I've seen so many kids have injury right mm-hmm. because they're trying to push their muscles beyond what they're ready to do right so we were talking a little bit during the break about how at 13 is a good time to start to do X because they have more ability more motor development more right you can focus a little more on skill right. even even weightlifting skill okay um certainly a lot more on agility mm-hmm. um but you should still at the age of 13 incorporate some play so like you know you get a lot of value out of a game like tag right or stop and go okay. type of games where it's like you're working on acceleration deceleration through game right and that's then the awesome. kids think it's fun yeah i mean that's an awesome thing because that's such a critical piece to developing is do, being able to to get your body in high gear quickly and come back down right and variety mm-hmm. right because a lot of children now are being put into um, sports for 12 months out of a year like when you were a kid I'm yeah. sure you played something in the fall something in the winter something in the spring and you really had the opportunity to play with your friends during the summer right whereas now travel teams suck up your summer yep and then you have your in-school season and then you have this other season and children are really kind of being robbed of the opportunity to play multi-sports mm-hmm you know, and I personally think children should wait until they're in high school before they go with just one sport. Right. And that has a lot to do with muscular imbalance and overuse injuries. You right. Know? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I think that's a great thing. And you, you see the most successful of athletes tend to be two sport athletes to a certain point, And then they get serious about one. And that's kind of the track right. that they take. Now, you work with kettlebells, right? You're a kettlebell expert. I am a big fan of the kettlebell. Yes. Yes. Um, so what is a kettlebell for those that don't know out there? A kettlebell is basically a cannonball with a handle on it. Okay. So it's a small piece of equipment that usually has a lot of mass behind it. They come in all different sizes. Yep. Um, but you can get a very thorough workout in with just one kettlebell or two, mm-hmm. or you can use a bunch, but, um, Really enjoy the way a kettlebell, you work with a kettlebell. It's not like holding a dumbbell. Right. It's offset. It sits on the outside of your wrist when you're pressing. You can swing a kettlebell, which is a unique exercise that you cannot necessarily do with a dumbbell, although they do try to do it on YouTube. Um, <laughs> but you can deadlift kettlebells. You can press them. And what's the benefit of working with a kettlebell as opposed to traditional weights? Is there a benefit? Well, I prefer that tool over traditional weights. Um, It's just like the technique behind it. Like if you're swinging a kettlebell, Mm -hmm. your feet are stationary. But I will take your heart rate from like resting to 150 to 160 beats Uh per, per minute in 10 seconds. Okay. 13 seconds for 10 swings. Right. So there's an enormous cardiovascular effect. Huh. Um, Which you don't see with traditional weightlifting. No. You don't, you know, that's very much an anaerobic type of exercise and you're creating something that's aerobic, that's something that is going to have a cardiovascular benefit while you're lifting a weight. Yeah. And then, you know, we're strong first affiliated. Right. So we follow their premises, which I absolutely love because it falls in line to what I believe in as a physical therapist. That's awesome. So it's easy for me to transition right. and explain that. But just the way we teach kettlebells with developing tension right. and really focusing on technique, um, kettlebells have this what the hell effect. Yep. It's like, I will teach you how to swing a kettlebell, do a Turkish get up, maybe do some deadlifts and goblet squats, loaded carries, and you're going to hit a baseball further. Now, I didn't have you swing right. a baseball bat at all. Right. You know, But if, the strength behind that, the power that you're developing behind mm-hmm. that in the upper body and even the lower body, 
So you know what? We're going to have to take another commercial break, but I want to talk a little bit more about okay. the benefit of the kettlebell when we come back. If you have a question for Sherry and you want to give us a call at 631-451-1039, that's 631-451-1039, please give us a call. And go follow us on Instagram at Tom Marino Coaching. That's Tom Marino Coaching. And if you want to follow Sherry at Elite, Elite Strength LI, Elite Strength LI, She's doing all kinds of great stuff out there. And if you're an athlete and you need to get some really good rehab to get back on that field, you definitely want to reach out to her and her team. All right. We'll talk to you after this commercial break. Are you tired of nosebleed seats and extra fees? Do you want premium seats at affordable prices? Hey, this is Tom Marino from The Tom Marino Show, and I want to tell you about the best way to get premium tickets at affordable prices for your next concert, sporting event, comedy show, Broadway show. And if you need them anywhere in the United States, just contact Ticket Time. That's TicketTimeUSA.com, TicketTimeUSA.com, and tell them that Tom Marino sent you. Hey, this is Tom Marino of the Tom Marino Show here. Imagine you wake up and you've had a major sewer back up in your home. Well, let me tell you about a company that I've worked with personally, Newhouse Restoration, where they take your damaged old house and make it a new house. For any water, fire, mold, or asbestos damage, please call them at 631-604-8590. That's 631-604-8590. Newhouse Restoration. All right, welcome back to the Tom Marino Show. I'm your host, Mindset and Success Strategy Coach Tom Marino. Thank you so much for tuning back in on this beautiful Thursday, September the 8th. And listen, I just want to give a quick shout out. Tomorrow is my mother's birthday. She is celebrating the big 7-0 and I want to recognize her 70th birthday. So uh, happy birthday, mom. I hope you have a great day tomorrow. Um, And we're looking forward to celebrating. And, uh, you know, also, we, we've got a lot of cool stuff happening around these days. You know, there's a lot of cool events happening in Long Island, the end of summer events. Uh, I had Steve DeAngelis on here two weeks ago. He's talking about Stat Fest, you know, summertime all the time that he hosts. There's a lot of cool events. Check out your local um uh, local events and see what's going on. September is still a summer month, people. We don't have to call it fall until the 22nd. So it's still a summer month. I know I got to clean up the cabana this weekend. I'm not looking forward to that, but uh, it just means the end of summer and it's time for a new season. We begin another transition in life. But uh, before the break, we were talking with Sherry Christie, who is uh, from Elite Strength and Performance and also from Paragon PT. And I want to thank Sherry for uh, her sponsorship of this part of the show and um, we were talking about the kettlebell and um, some how kettlebells when you work with a kettlebell you could actually cause a cardiovascular you know exercise to take place like you were saying you get up to 150 beats per minute I feel like I'm working out on the peloton if I was doing that and I'm breathless so tell us the benefit of the kettlebell. you were talking and starting to talk about the benefits of the kettlebell and um, we were talking about how you can improve a kid swing in baseball without having to actually swing a bat. So how does that all work to come together? I think it's just by the design of how you train with a kettlebell. Okay. Um, so again, specific techniques, um, we use tension and relaxation, Mm -hmm. um, and then the unique shape and way you have to hold the kettlebell. So swings are great, right? My feet don't move, but I increase your heart rate to 150 or more beats per minute in 13 seconds. We tend to do swings in little short bursts of intervals. Um, There's also a technique called the kettlebell snatch, which really gets your heart rate going. And these are whole body movements. So it's like when you're playing sports, you use your whole body. When you're using a kettlebell, you know, you are rooting to the floor, Mm -hmm. you're increasing tension, um, you're firing up your lats, you're engaging your core. Um, you're just getting a whole body workout every time you're using a kettlebell. And I think that has enormous carryover, um, and functionality into sport. Yeah. So if you have a runner who's out due to a knee injury, I can teach them a kettlebell swing, which is very safe and gentle on your joints, keep their cardiovascular system in shape and they can go out and run better than they ran before their injury. Right. You know, all because you're you're maximizing that cardiovascular response while doing some weight lifting. Right. It's just the technique that's used with the training. Right. Um, it's we don't do three sets of ten. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, we do not isolate body parts. Okay. 
Um, the Turkish get up, whole body movement from the ground to standing up right back down to the ground again. I love to use that for my baseball players. Right. Why? Because it works on shoulder mobility. It works on shoulder stability. It works on core strength. It works on leg strength. Right. There's not a muscle you're not working with a Turkish get up. Right. And, and we were talking, we, we had a conversation a while back when I was asking you more about, you know, how I can help my son to d- develop. And, you know, because he's a very good hitter. He has a very good form when he hits the ball. He's, but all of his hits are mostly singles. Like, out of 40 hits, 38 of them are singles. He'll get a few doubles here and there. How, do, how would working with weights help that situation? Um, I think by the design of how we use the kettlebell. Mm-hmm. We would definitely teach him how to do a get up, some squats, some carries. When you're doing loaded carries, you know, we're not just letting you pick up the kettlebell and walk with it. We're targeting things, telling you where to get tight, how to breathe, mm-hmm. walk slowly. It's time under tension. Right. Time under tension develops strength. What he's going to develop is power right. in a swing. Mm-hmm just by the nature of how we train. Right, and and you said a lot of things in there, and not just the kettlebell itself, well, there's a lot, yeah. but it's the squats, it's the lower leg, right? I mean, even pitchers, do you, like when you work with a pitcher that's trying to get some more velocity on their baseball, is it the same kind of principle behind it as well? Same principles, same exercises. Really? So, yeah, I can use a variety of kettlebell activities right. with a baseball player, right. with a runner, with a swimmer, and they're all going to benefit in their sport, and they're doing the same exercises. And that's the beauty behind the kettlebell. Right. It, it really is that what the hell effect. Right. It, and and that is what's that. That's awesome because I know so many people. And, and again, the the maturity of our bodies being, you know, once you're 13, that's more appropriate to start developing that stuff. And I think that's really important to to emphasize out there because I've seen some kids that developed earlier. And they lifted earlier and they have major injury to their muscles because it's, they're not conditioned in the right way. I think the other beauty behind like kettlebell training mm-hmm. is you're not going to see an athlete get bulky, stiff, and immobile. Right. Like by nature of how we're training, like if you've ever seen a Turkish getup, you need mobility in your shoulders and your hips. Right. So we're encouraging that mobility in the athlete. It, training with kettlebells... Right. Regardless of how heavy you get, tends to keep you in a lean, muscular look. Think of like a gymnastic right. player, yep. a gymnastic athlete, or a or a wrestler. Right, you're not getting bulky. Right, and and that's such an important thing too. I mean, you're you're maintaining the elasticity of the muscle because one, as we know, if you just do weights and you get too big, the elasticity changes, right, and you get stiffer, and you don't have that same give. I mean, that that's I mean, you see it all the time, and that can cause actually more injury, correct? If, if your muscles aren't elastic enough? If your muscles get shortened mm-hmm. and you ask them to move out of that range because say you had to reach back for a, a football or you overthrew on a baseball, you had to jump over a fence, you're absolutely going to get hurt. Yeah. But a lot of times I think what happens when younger kids get involved in weightlifting, right? Everybody wants a chest and biceps. Right. Well, when you're kettlebell training, we're working on your chest, your biceps, your back, your hips, your glutes, the front, the back, the top, the bottom. Right. There's no way around it. It's and, just whole body. It's whole body. It's holistic. It's it's the and it's and, and it's good for the mind it's too. Simple equipment. You know, it's good for the mind because yes. you're getting the heart pumping and you're oxygenating not just your, all of your muscles, but you're also supporting your brain and your development of your brain and and your mind. And it clears like like any exercise. It sounds like you're getting those same benefits. You're gonna get a euphoric. You're gonna get those endorphins kicking in, and you're gonna feel really good after. To that so sherry tell us um very quickly about uh this program that you have that's an eight-week program you, that you do for a lot of athletes yeah we run eight-week cycles for athletes um we definitely feel that athletes start having changes at the two-week mark okay. um definitely at the four-week mark but we like to get them for eight weeks to make sure they're understanding technique and what we're doing we do blend Mm -hmm. um speed work and agility into that right Uh, we spend a lot of time teaching the athletes how to decelerate and stop okay um because it's not how fast you're running it's when you need to change direction that the injury occurs so we're looking at their mechanics and working on that as well that's awesome so we do do combine the both fantastic and jerry just tell everybody where you're located again and how best to reach you We're located at 250 Executive Drive, um, Unit X in Edgewood, New York. 
Um, that is right in the Heartland Business Center, kind of by the Tanger Outlets, just okay. north of the Deer Park train station and the Heartland Golf Club. Got it. You can reach me, call or text 631-747-8893. Or check out my Instagram at Elite Strength LI, and that is the same for our website, EliteStrengthLI.com. Well, Sherry, thanks so much for being here today. This was a great conversation. I hope everybody is as informed as I, all the information we got from you. You truly are an expert, so thank you for being here. I really appreciate you having me on. Thank uh, you for the opportunity. Fantastic. And uh, if you haven't already, and listen, if you're a solopreneur, a business owner, an entrepreneur, you're someone who's going through transition, and I'm talking about all different life transitions that happen, whether it's divorce, whether it's a, a, a relationship ending, whether you are trying to figure out what's next for your business and you just don't know which direction to head, give me a call or text me at 516 588 0750. That's 516 588 0750. And uh, we'll get you set up for a time to talk and we'll see if you're a good fit and we'll take it from there. In the meantime, go to tomarino.com, go to Tom Marino Coaching on Instagram. That's Tom Marino Coaching on Instagram. Uh, follow me, check out some posts, educate yourself, get yourself back into shape. And if you need any help with some strength and conditioning, Sherry is definitely the person to reach out to. So go to elitestrengthli.com. And listen, until next time, this is Tom Marino saying, choose your adrenalized life. Don't waste your time.